you're building something great, a lot of the thinking happens in docs, product requirement docs, tech specs, strategy notes. But when they're scattered across 10 tools and four naming conventions, it's chaos. Let's explore how Notion can turn documentation into a living, organized foundation for your team's work. Docs are the hero of every great project. Not the flashy kind in a cape, but the scrappy, resourceful type that gets things done. Having one searchable place for everything makes it way easier for your team to find what's current, see who's working on what, and stay aligned without digging through old Slack threads. We've all been there. All right, let's build your team a docs database. Start by typing slash database on any Notion page. Let's call it something like project docs. This is where all your key work lives. Product requirement docs, tech specs, design reviews, basically anything that keeps the team aligned and in sync. Now let's add a few properties to keep it organized. First, doc type. So you know whether something's a spec, a PRD, a standup, or retro, or anything else your team works with. Then a status property. You can go with something like draft, in review, and accepted, just enough to show where things stand. And finally, a last updated date property. A small detail, but super useful when you want to know if a doc is still current or needs a refresh. And that's it. Now your docs have an organized home and your team has one less thing to second guess. Once the docs start rolling in, you'll start to notice a pattern. Some formats, like let's say a product requirement doc, may show up again and again. Creating one from scratch every time isn't exactly fun. You may end up digging through an old doc from three quarters ago, trying to remember what sections to include. With databases, you can create custom page templates that give your team a consistent starting point and take the guesswork out of structure. Let's set one up. To get started, click the New button on your database and select Add New Template. Start with a few sections in your PRD, like problem statement, dependencies, and success metrics. Now your team has a clean, reusable structure that makes writing PRDs faster. Once you're done with your template, just close the page. Notion saves it automatically. Next time someone needs to write a PRD, they can just create a new page in the database and select the PRD template. Plus, you can create multiple templates in your database for any other repeatable format too. And because it's in Notion, you can tailor the doc to your workflow. Just update the template as your process evolves. Easy. Let's talk about buttons, small elements that can do a lot of the heavy lifting. Page buttons are interactive blocks you can drop anywhere in Notion, like pages or databases. Think of them as quick action shortcuts. One click can trigger a series of actions or add preset content, saving you the hassle of doing it all manually. Buttons work when using a simple when and then logic. When someone clicks a button, then a set of actions happen. You can even bundle multiple actions into a single button. For example, let's create a button in our docs database that kicks off a new project once our PRD is accepted. To get started, type slash button. Give it a name, let's say new project. With this button, let's Send a notification via Slack to let our team know this project is ready to be worked on. Create a new page in a separate projects database. Give it the same name as our PRD and set the properties of that page to assign the PRD author as the owner. Set the status of the project as new and embed a to-do list. Perfect. With one click, your PRD is now a project. Your team was notified, the project was created, and the assignee was set. Your PRD probably includes a bunch of properties, like status, author, and more. All super useful, but when they're all visible at once, it can start to feel a bit overwhelming, especially when not all the properties are relevant to every team viewing the doc. That's where layouts come in. With layouts, you can design each page to show what matters most. No more digging through a wall of properties. Layouts aren't just a visual refresh, they allow you to customize how you interact with your database. To get started, click Customize Layout. This opens up the Layout Builder, your design playground. From here, you'll organize your page using two main areas. 
you'll first see the main page area front and center. Use it to highlight what matters most. For your PRD, maybe that's the author, the content itself, and the status. You'll then see a collapsible panel on the right called the details panel. This is perfect for supporting info. You can stash fields like created time, team, or relevant docs here, things that are important but don't need the spotlight. Now let's look at how you can fine tune the layout even further with modules, pinned properties, and the property group. In pinned properties, you can pin key properties just below your page title. In this case, you might pin status and author so they're always top of mind. Next, use modules to spotlight individual properties in their own sections. For example, you can add a module for the summary field to draw attention to the key message. Lastly, you can use the property group section as your catch-all space for the rest of your properties. You can organize them into labeled collapsible sections. Remember, if you pin a property or turn it into a module, it'll no longer show up here, helping you keep things clean. You can apply layouts to all of the pages in your database, and new pages you create will also have that layout. Used thoughtfully, layouts transform your databases into easy to navigate sources of knowledge. They'll make it easier for everyone to get what they need at a glance. So you've created your docs, but here's the big question. Is anyone actually reading them? Notion makes it easy to find out, thanks to page analytics. It's a simple way to understand what content is working and what might need a little love. Let's say you've shared your PRD. A few days later, you go to the top of the page to check the page analytics, but the views are lower than expected. That's a signal. Maybe the page needs to be shared more broadly or the content doesn't answer relevant questions. It's not just about tracking traffic, it's about improving visibility and making sure your content is actually doing its job. Let's recap. We just leveled up your docs from nice reference to central command center. You've got templates to create docs faster, layouts making even the busiest pages feel effortless to navigate, page buttons turning clicks into actions, and analytics to see engagement. The big idea? Build docs at scale. So no matter how big your team gets or how complex the work becomes, your documentation stays organized, up to date, and ready to move things forward. Mm -hmm.